What's up guys? In this, yes, this is a bunch of bass pedals. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you my top five, I'm gonna count them to make sure there's five, yes, there's five, top five effects pedals for bass, stuff that I would not be without with on a gig. Also, you can win these guys, and not only can you win these pedals, you can also win this bass, $11,575 for Dara, and we're giving away this Trickfish bass rig as well, and a ton of other stuff. Memberships to Scott's Bass Lessons, we're giving away straps. So all you need to do to get in on this giveaway, like guys, is click the link below, it'll take you through to a page, do the stuff, and then you'll be entered. But before you do that, let me plug these pedals in and run you through what the pedals do and why I have them on my pedal board. Let's get into it. importance of what pedals I would take on a gig personally. Obviously I'm not involving a tuner pedal in this as well so no smart Alex is down in them comments saying what about a tuner? Um, for tuners yes obviously get a pedal but you can also get the clip-on tuners that are available nowadays as well that are very very cool but it has to be for me obviously after a tuner pedal it's got to be an octave pedal and if I had to choose one octave pedal it would be the octabase by EBS. And I actually really love, Gab, can you chuck me the Octave OC, OC2? Thank you, Gavin. Mercy. I use this all the time, Oc Boss Octave OC2. But there's a couple of settings on the Octabase that I really love. And although I love this, I probably wouldn't be able to live without the Octabase. So ideally, I actually use them both. But for today's video, I'm going to highlight the Octobase EBS. So this pedal is really, really simple. You've just got a normal signal and you've got your octave signal, right? So if I turn them both all the way down and put the pedal on and play, you're not going to hear anything as I turn the normal signal up. Well, you can, you can hear the normal signal. And then as I turn the octave signal up, that brings in that signal as well, the octave signal. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually switch the range here from high, mid, and low. And to be honest with you, that's really what I love the pedal for, being able to get a normal octave sound, but then this cool sub as well. But you can also just dial in a regular octave sound um, I'll put the range on mid, I've got the normal, I'm just going to dial it a little back and then I'm going to kick the octave up there to about 2 o'clock. Turn that off just so you can hear the difference. Kick it back on. The next one now I really want to say that the micro pog because that's probably my favorite pedal but I'm not going to I'm not going to highlight that one yet. The next one is a distortion pedal. I really like a distortion pedal and it kind of works in conjunction with the octave pedal. But here I've got the Alpha Omicron which is a really really fantastic pedal in itself. You've got a level blend mod and then drive here. So with the level obviously that's the level um, if I kick it on, there you can hear that. The blend is between the clean signal and the distortion signal. The mod just changes the actual tone and the drive, well that's the drive. And then you get the, the growl and the bite is there as well there that gives you a cool tone. Using that drive pedal on its own, it's really cool, you know, especially you can use it down here as well. where distortion pedals just are amazing is where you couple them with an octave. So what I'm gonna do is put them the octave here. So I've got the EBS octave bass on and I've got the um, Alpha Omicron on as well. And that's gonna sound like this. It just becomes like really synthy. Cool. 
loads of good, good fun to be had just with the distortion pedal and an octave pedal. And trust me, all your bandmates will freak out when you're kicking them two pedals. So next up for me has got to be the Micro Pog, which is just such a fun pedal. Um, it's, you know, it is, it is another octave pedal, but it's just slightly different. It's got its own vibe as well. So you've got a dry signal here, you've got the sub octave, and then you've got the octave up, so on the original dry signal. So just to give you an exa example of what this sounds like. You can do a ton of other stuff with that pog as well because you can just have the sub octave on you can take the dry signal completely out and everything in between but i generally have it on that octave up setting the flashback is a really great pedal it's just a delay pedal but there's a ton of options with it um you've just got the effects level delay the feedback you have and then the different um the variants of delay but let's just put it on, I've got it on tape. So just without any octaves on or anything like that, I can use it like this. And then when you couple it with stuff like, for instance, I could put the micro pog on there. It just adds a little bit more wetness to it. Now to top it all off, I love this thing down here called the Electro Harmonics Freeze Pedal. I use it as a sustainer, okay? So I'll hold a note down, such as, oops. And then I put my foot on it, hold that pedal down, take my hands away, and you will get the actual, see I'm just gonna turn it up for you. So no hands, <laughs> and I could change it to a D. Oops, if I had the volume up. practice over drones which for me is really really crucial to what I do in my practice so let me just put the flashback on there I've got a D drone importance of what I think you should be looking to put on your pedal board. Number one would be an octave. Number two would be some sort of distortion. It could be a fuzz. Number three, probably a delay after that. Number four would be the micro pog because they're just so much fun. In fact, just forget everything else and just get the micro pog. It's just worth it. And then finally, these electro harmonics pe freeze pedals are really fantastic for your practice time and you can use them in live situations as well. They are a ton of fun. Now, obviously you can win all of these pedals. We're giving this bunch of pedals away to somebody, all of them. We're gonna be sending you them. All you need to do to get in this giveaway is click the link below and remember as well I'm also giving away this beautiful Federa Matt Garrison signature base $11,575 retail on one of these bad boys you can win it and I'm also giving away this amazing Trickfish rig here head and cab absolutely superb rig 
I'm freaking out about the preamp on, on this head. You've got to check them out. I'm getting it to win it, guys. The link is below, and as always, I'll see you in the shed.